In a previous video, Creating Dynamic Columns in Financials, we showed you how to dynamically generate actual, budget, variance, and variance percent by period with Jet Reports. Now we need to show you how to total those columns. We've already created a report that generates the dynamic columns for the period. When the report runs, we only get the periods we are reporting on. Now let's add the total for those periods. We could use JET to go back into our database and bring back those numbers, and that would definitely work, but that also slows performance. Why not just get Excel to do it? Your first reaction might be to think that's impossible because the number of columns changes according to the date filters. But we are going to use Excel's sum if function to add up the budget columns and the actual columns, and then Excel can calculate variances just like it did in the other columns. We'll just copy those over. Sum if has three parameters the range, in our case, the column headings, the criteria, for us, it's either budget or actual. And the last parameter is the range to be summed. Since the report is dynamically generating the columns, we must leave an empty column between the first column of the totals and the period columns. If we don't, our result will only be the total of the first period. We want it for all periods. For the range, we'll use the column headings and lock them in using absolute references for that range. For the criteria, we'll lock into the heading for this column to determine whether the total is for budget or for actual. For the range to be summed, however, we won't use any locking, but we will make sure that the range is using the same columns as the headers. If we don't, we might get the wrong result. Now let's copy that down to our cost section as well, and then create very similar functions for our budget totals. For the variances, we'll use the same formulas we used in the periods. To be on the safe side, we recommend using if error for calculating both the variance in dollars and percent. This avoids situations where an error could result because of a zero value in the budget. Once that's done, let's run it. And now we have each individual month during our date range and the total actual and budget values along with their variances. We hope you enjoyed this video from Reports Your Way. Thank you for joining us.